I'd like to show you how I've been collecting the learning notebook for the online students. So what I did is in Canvas, I created a test bank for the learning notebook. So this test bank has 18 questions in it, even though I'm only going to ask the students 10 of them. And they look something like this. Um, each question asks them to share a, pay, a particular page that has a particular problem on it. So for example, um, a practice test problem or a web assign problem. Here's some web assign problems. Share the page that includes web assign 1.1a number four. I put a reference in right here, which tells me what the problem is about, is supposed to be about, so that it's easy for me to do. And then I ask them to paste a URL from a Jing upload here, or they can actually use the image editor as well to paste a stable URL from an image. Um, because there's 18 questions here, I can ask the quiz to randomly pull 10 of these 18 questions, and that way the students can't just tell each other what the questions are. I also ask for a full page so that um, I can see that the student has actually completed the problems around the problem and not just, you know, the problem that was asked for. So let me show you what the grading looks like. This is an assignment from a student. So here are the questions that I need to grade. And as I scroll down the page, I see the problem that was pulled from the question bank right here. Um, they turn in a URL to this problem, so I can right click on it and open it in a new tab. And then it looks something like this, and I can zoom in on full size to see the graph a little bit closer. Um, and then go back to my assignment, give them a grade here, comment if I need to, go down to the next one, right click, open it in a new tab, um, take a look at it, look at it in full size if I need to. I can see the page that it's on and the problem that I'm looking at, go back here, give it a grade, etc. Sometimes the students choose to um, do an image upload instead. So this is from a stable URL from an image. So I can look right at the problem for you know number four on this assignment and see that they've done the problem all right and the rest of the problems that surround it. So this is an example of what an assignment would look like if they turned in the stable URLs for the images. So it's pretty much like flipping through a notebook um, on paper with the exception that sometimes you have to open a URL, but um, otherwise it's pretty easy to do. The responses I get from students are sometimes pretty funny. This is a student who let me um, show her response here. And uh, you can see that she's chosen to include herself in her webcam picture. She's using her webcam to share um, the images of her work with me. Um, but then sometimes she also uses Jing to just share a, a bit of a problem. Now, I prefer not to get the problems like this. I prefer to get the problems on more of a full page. Since this is the first assignment, I'm going to let things like this go. But in the, in, um, I prefer to see them you know, as, so I can see that there's actually work around this problem and not just this one particular problem done. The final thing I should mention here is that this learning notebook does have a time limit on it. Um, so they'll get 10 questions drawn from those 18 I showed you, um, but they only have 45 minutes to do it. So theoretically, that should be plenty of time to take pictures and, and upload them if the assignments are done, but maybe not so much time if the, the learning notebook isn't actually complete. I provide them with a table of contents. So in the pages section of Canvas, um, if they click on learning notebook, they will see um, a video about learning notebooks and then the table of contents which is here or they can print uh, a table of contents right from um, Canvas and just make sure they have everything in there. There's also a little checklist in here so that they can um, uh, check off the assignments as they complete them and write down what page they're on so that they can easily find them. It's um, kind of fun to see when students have a hard time finding their own problems. Anyways, um, it's working pretty well to have students turn in um, their learning notebooks online.